There has been an outpouring of support for Adelaide United's Josh Cavallo after he became the first known openly gay male player in professional football. The 21-year-old made the announcement on social media saying he wanted to show that everyone is welcome in the sport. There's something personal that I need to share with everyone. I'm a footballer and I'm gay. All I want to do is play football and be treated equally. Coming out to my loved ones, my peers, my friends, my teammates, my coaches has been incredible. And it was so good to see that smile there at the end. I'm happy to say that Josh joins us live now. Thanks so much for your time, Josh. Have you felt the love and support? Yeah, definitely. I'm very overwhelmed and excited. Um, my phone is absolutely blowing up, so it's a very exciting time for me. <laughs> Indeed it has. This has been really what we call has gone viral. You've had support from famous football play players, Marcus Rashford, I'm sure your own family and friends, your own team. Did you expect it when you put this video together? No, I, I didn't expect for people to reach out like they did. Um, I expected some support, but the support I've received is globally and it's been from clubs, from leagues, from the Premier League. It's just been absolutely phenomenal. And, and I just saw a tweet that Zlatan Ibrahimovic said that he's proud of me and uh, PK from Barcelona and Griezmann. So it just goes on and on, but it just makes me realise why have I been li hiding a liar for so long in my life. Yeah, what, why was it so so difficult? Because I think everyone just wanted to give you a hug at the start of that video. Why was it so difficult for you personally? Yeah, I think it was difficult for me personally because I never saw, or when I was trying to be a footballer growing up, I never saw a gay footballer play. So um, I didn't know how the world would react and what people would think of me. And it took me a long time to get to where I am today, but I'm incredibly grateful and I'm ready for this moment. Was it a surprise to everyone? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Most people didn't see it coming, which is fair enough. Um, I lived six years of my life hiding it and I, I became really good at living a life of lies and hiding my personal life and avoiding awkward conversations and situations. It's, it's quite an isolating and lonely journey. Um, it's something that I don't wish upon anyone. Um, it, it was a very difficult period in my life, but I hope that through my story, I inspire others and show that it's okay to be who you are, no matter of what you believe in or what you like or where you come from. Mm. Football is a game for everyone and everyone can fit in, everyone's welcome. And I think that has been shown across the globe with everyone's response yesterday. How did your teammates react? Yeah, they were crazy. Well, initially I told my coaches, Carl and Ross, five to six weeks ago and um, they sat me down and said Josh we still love you for exactly who you are you don't change to us and they gave me a big hug and it, it meant a lot to me and I felt like my weight off my shoulders was so much already so seeing the reaction of my teammates my coaches my peers and the whole public in the world is is just amazing <laughs> and it's something that it's it's made me think like why have I lived my these six years always hiding 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 and always sad and yesterday I put my head on the pillow and I could smile and it was just something that I haven't done for over six years and I was very glad that I, I could be my true self now. Yeah I'm sure you got a few more Instagram followers in the last 24 hours as well Josh but how will this, <laughs> <laughs> how will this change you do you think as a player um, and how might it change the team? I mean, you've got more confidence, um, you, as you say, since making yeah. this announcement and you haven't stopped smiling since we started talking. So how do you think <laughs> it will change? Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, I've played with this on my mind for about six years, as I was mentioning before. So it's something that I've always carried along with me and something I've always thought about, you know, times when I'm on the pitch or when I'm in the change room or when I'm in the public, I'm always thinking about this and thinking that I wouldn't fit into society. And I want to show that to someone on watching this or who's watched my video, and I want to show that it's okay to be yourself, you know, you'll be accepted. And look at the response I got it's, it's phenomenal so I just want to inspire people and want them to be their true selves because I lived six years of my life uh, living a lie and I don't want anyone to experience it it's horrible 
Josh, football can be seen as a, as a macho I- environment. Is it? And do you hope to change some aspects of the, of the game and the, the culture around it? Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't want to change. I want to help evolve. I think it's it's time. We're in 2021, and it's very normal to have gay people. And something like this hasn't happened in football. And I think opening these gates can potentially lead to future talented players not getting turned away from the game because of stuff like this. So I think it's a good opportunity for me to show the world what mm. they've been missing out on. Josh, you are wise beyond your years and we thank you so much for giving us your time this morning. Enjoy. Thank you so much.